What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here reads, We can humiliate Wari again, says NSA's protest proof Nigerian cannot defeat Boko Haram. Alright, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on the red subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. The governor of River State, South South Nigeria, in Yeson Wiki, has lamented that the NSA protests that rock various cities across the nation has exposed that Nigeria cannot defeat Boko Haram insurgents because it lacks intelligence. Nigerian News report that Governor Wiki made this comment in a statement signed by his special assistant media, Kevin Obiri, who spoke on Friday when the Nigerian Guild of Editors paid him a courtesy visit at the government house, Portacourt, the River State Capital. This online news platform recalls that protesting youth in Nigeria agitating for the end to police brutalization and extrajudicial killing of Nigerians stormed the streets, protesting the brutalities, humiliation, and extortion of Nigerians, especially the youth, by the police. The protesters demanded an end to the anti special anti robbery squad called SARS, a police unit under the false criminal investigation and intelligence department headed by the deputy inspector general of police Anthony Ogbizi using the hashtag end SARS. On Sunday, October 11, 2020, the inspector general of police IGP Mohamed Adamu disbanded SARS following a widespread protest from Nigerians worldwide. However, since the announcement that SARS have been described, the protests have refused to leave the street, which a presidential advisory committee said might force the federal government to take drastic measures against the protesting youth. As stated by PACAC Chairman Professor Ise Saga, men suspected to be soldiers of the Nigerian army invaded a peaceful protest at Lekki Tollgate on Tuesday evening, October 20, killing NSA's protesters in the process. Last week Friday, an eyewitness of the massacre, Obiano Ju Ude, popularly known as uh, Dick's Jockey or DJ Switch, said she and other NSA protesters counted 15 cops at the Lekki Toll Gate when men in army uniform opened fire on peaceful protesters. We were tear gas. We will run and come back, and the only thing we fought with was our flag. We will sit on the floor and raise our hands up, waving the flag and singing the national anthem. That's all we had, she said. The military men were killing Nigerian citizens. The police and SARS came and were doing the same thing, aiming and shooting. They were pointing the gun at us and shooting live bullets. Who takes live bullet to protest ground? Who does that DJ switch question? Reacting to the NSAS protests, Governor Wiki queried the country's intelligence system and wondered why it failed to reveal how youth organized themselves for the protests without a leader. The River State Governor says, Now look at what has happened. There was NSAS protests across the country. Nobody knows how the youth were able to organize themselves without a leader. Up to now, intelligence can't even know how they did it, who's behind them. Without good intelligence, how can Nigerian even depict Boko Haram? Wiki queried. Alright guys, Wiki just blasted the Nigerian uh, uh, commander-in-chief and also the military. And he used the NSAS as a yardstick, as a case study. You get? And said that, how were the NSAS, according to Wiki, Wiki queried, how were the NSAS able to organize themselves you get me in all of the major states in the south, south, southeast, and southwest, except in the north. You see, all of the protests were held in virtually all the southwestern states, southeastern states, and south, south states, except the northern part of the country. It was also held in Jos and also Kaduna. You get me? But however, what still 
hold a lot of people perplex or what seems surprises a lot of people till today is that how come the youth organize themselves without a leader? There is no leader up to now. And even the federal government tried to infiltrate to know who is actually the leader. They try different way. Like for instance, Sao Olu came into the NSAS movement, appointed leaders by himself, you get me, to try to see if these leaders will try to uh, influence the people, but the people never gave it to a leader. So what? why the movement actually succeeded, why the NSAS protest succeeded and lasted for more than two weeks was because there was no central leader. Even the video himself tried hijacking the proceedings. You get, but did not succeed. That was when uh, uh, the video met with the IG of police and tabled the demand of the answers. And when AY Life was asked and uh, Peter Okoye, they said that that is the video. The video is doing his own thing. That we will keep on protesting until police brutality ends. You get so the the video could not fit into the shoe. At the point in time, she what they came in to address the answers protesters, he was actually booed. You get? They actually yelled at him and he couldn't actually take over the answers protest. Now, Governor Wiki is using this and saying that the intelligence system, you know, a good country with a good intelligence system will be able to know that something like this will take place and they will, they will know how they can nip it in the board. But in Nigerian case, they never knew, even up to now, even after the NSAS protest has died down, nobody is still able to figure out who is the, you know, the leader. And in this case, it's been pinpointed that it is social media. That is what they came to discover. It is a power of social media. That was how they were, they were able to organize themselves. You can even see on that day they held candle night. You get me? To remember the those that were actually uh, victim of police brutality. You could see it was held in virtually all the states where the protest was held. So you see, there was an organization. You see, there was an organization. So guys, um, we can just bumped the, the federal government and said, if they are not able to detect the leader, they were not able to know how these youth organize themselves. How then would they be able to defeat Boko Haram? To defeat Boko Haram, we need intelligence. Like, for instance, Boko Haram usually ambush our soldiers. You get? They ambush them. And as a matter of fact, Nigeria has sat one. What are they using those satellites for? I think I learned we have two satellites. Sat one and sat two. What are they using it for? Satellite can be used for military purpose to get intelligence information on the movement of Boko Haram. So you can see here that we can make sense here. However, just recently, Wiki had been in the bad books of IPOB as he has proscribed the group and said that they are a terrorist organization and also went ahead to, you know, start warring against them. So this has not actually put him in good light in uh, IPOB. But let me leave that aside. So what do you guys think? He just made sense in what he had just said. He is one of the governors that is very outspoken, more than any governor in the whole of the South, in fact, in Nigeria, the only person who is very critical of the federal government, very outspoken, is only Wiki. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that the um, what he said makes sense? Drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Malcolm TV. God bless you.